What is up guys, Woody LS3. Continuing from the other video, we're back at the house. It's been a couple days now. It's actually Saturday. My car's actually been at the wrap shop. The guys have been working so hard on it. Shout out to Automotive Apparel for doing such a good job. Mike has been sending me messages of my car, the way it's coming out. Uh, I couldn't be more happy with the wrap choice that we went with. Car is coming out awesome. I did get my ZR1 splitter. We got the ZR1 side skirt. So we're gonna go be taking these to Automotive Apparel so they can get these installed. We're also going to be taking my CCW wheels and we're gonna be putting on these smaller tires so I can actually rock these because last time on my way to the shop I don't know if y'all remember it started raining on me the car started sliding that I had to exit a little bit earlier luckily it, we weren't that far so we made it but so I don't have that problem I'm just gonna be rocking these CCWs when I just want to cruise my car and stuff like that go to like a meet or like just a little event I mean I don't know if it could rain or whatever especially out here in Texas where the weather you never know what's going on and then I'll put my welds when I'm gonna go racing so we're actually going to be switching out these tires. The reason why I'm switching out these tires is because this tire is a little too tall that it actually comes up to your fender. On my base model fenders it broke them but also on these it could break them too because uh, it goes up in the wheel well pretty good. Obviously I spent a lot of money on my fenders and I don't want to break them or take the chance of breaking them. So to avoid that problem, smaller tires, we're going to go swap these on. We're gonna go drop this off, maybe give you a little update on the car. So let's go ahead and go. Hey right, guys, we're on our way to go get these tires swapped out. We're actually gonna go to my boy Alex's shop exclusive. Alex is always taking care of me. Big shout out to Alex for always coming through. So let's go head over to exclusive. Guys, we're pulling up to exclusive. Let's see what my boy Alex is doing. Oh yeah, guys, he also picked up T8 Corvette. Damn, that thing's sick. This is my boy Alex. Papa, man. Yeah, hey, what's up, bro? My boy Alex always coming through. Hell yeah, come on. Then. Oh yeah, there's no work, no life, man. Damn. Where's the tires? Rim tires? They're in the back of the truck. For your Corvette or what? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, bro, what's up with the, the C8, bro? I think me and you're gonna have to line up. Which one? What oh, the C8? Oh! Why did oh. <laughs> th <laughs> I think it was a truck? <laughs> <laughs> you've, been in, you've been in trucks yeah, too much, man. man. Hey, it's, it's pretty quick, man. Yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah, I had to get had to get new tires, bro. Okay. Cause these are still brand new, but I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't taking a chance. Yeah, it's because it, this, this were a little thick. Yeah, those fenders are expensive, and then they're hard to get. Man, you telling me about it? I tell you, I know. Bro, I know, I, I just went through all that. <laughs> so me and Alex are gonna unload these, get these tires swapped out, and then we're gonna go check out the car. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go see my car today. Oh yeah? I'm getting it wrapped, so. You haven't uh, told them the color? I haven't said the color. <laughs> so. I, I don't even know the color. Oh yeah, I haven't even told uh -huh. you the color, huh? Man, that's messed up, Woody. Nah, nah, I'll let you, I'll let you know. I don't know what's the camera's on. Me and Alex got the tires on, so go ahead and head over to Mike. As we're here at Mike's shop, let's go see the car. I'm here at Automotive Apparel. Y'all can't see the color, but I'm telling you the color is much better in person. Once I unveil this color, y'all, I hope y'all like it. I know I love it, my wife loves it. Finish it up for me. Hopefully we get it done in time for the show. If not, no big deal. I'd rather the car come out 100% correct and not have to come back just because we were trying to rush them. We left the wheels with them. They're gonna put the wheels on. We're taking welds back to the house. So we got the CCWs with them. They're gonna put all the CCWs when they return it. I also left them the ZR1 side skirts and front lid so they can install that. Uh, Mike's gonna take care everything like i said he did a lot of extra work to my fenders because they were a little scuffed up we're gonna go ahead and let these guys get to work they're doing an awesome job they're killing it they probably did like a day and a half with this car and they already have so much done can't wait for y'all to see it i'm gonna give you some quick shots of just a little bit of what they do i hope y'all enjoy Everybody, Woody LS3. Today we have been up and down ever since we got up. The 
because it's crunch time. Last minute, I wasn't gonna be able to go to the Project Torque shootout, but me and my wife managed to move some things around and uh, we're actually going. So, I've actually been running around all morning long, uh, picking up my shirts, picking up hats. Uh, this is one of the new hats I got, guys, black and white. They'll be available on the website by the time this video drops, but right now we're actually on the way to pick up my car. Like I said, we're gonna go out there and have fun, support Project Tour, and uh, just go out there and have a blast. Hey right, guys, uh, big shout out to Automotive Apparel, Mike, and all the crew. They have pretty much started wrapping this car, I would say maybe about four days, off and on with the weekend and then Labor Day. So they really busted their butt so I can get the car delivered today just to make it by the show. Go follow Automotive Apparel on Instagram. Uh, they do awesome work. You're about to see for yourself the kind of work they do and they take care of everybody. You don't have to be a YouTuber or anything like that for them guys to take care of you. They take care of all their customers, no matter what. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and pick up my car. So let's go. You see it? Yeah. Alright guys, we just pulled up to Automotive Apparel. As you can see, the car is behind me. It is complete. I got Mike here, the owner of Automotive Apparel, and he's gonna go through and like let you know what he did to the car. What's up everybody? Yeah, so we got the conversion here to the Z06. You know, as you've seen in, earlier in the video, mismatched panels, different colors, you know, it's a project. Going wide body mm -hmm. on it. We got some new wheels. At the same time, you got new side skirts for it. We also did the front lip and then headlights to, to match the concept of what we were trying to do. Wrapped everything in Avery Metallic Passion Red, right? That's the color so inside it gives it a nice little maroon look when you get outside it gives it a totally different characteristic and then also when the sun setting that's gonna be a nice look too blacked it out with uh, accenting so the mirrors are wrapped in gloss black roof and the halo and just gonna kind of tie in everything else one thing we did do different which I don't think anybody else has because we've seen a lot of other people do other shops including ourselves was the front. So a lot of times what individuals do is they bring it straight down and they keep the whole center gloss black. You had a good idea by keeping the color of the wrap right here in the center and just leaving the center gloss black. So let me know what you guys think. And everything else kind of ties in. I mean, you have the fog lights that have the back black background. You have the headlights that, you know, originally were red because of yes. Corvettes, as you guys may or may not know. Whatever color the body of the car is, the headlights are the same color. So you went ahead and got the OEM replacement headlights with the black housing. So it just really, I mean, it completed the look. It, definitely tied it in all together. Check out the back. Last second, I don't know if I talked to you about it. I think I briefly did, but we painted the emblem gloss black oh, <laughs> and then did black on oh, the left nice. and did the red on the right. Oh, they put the color inside. Yeah, that's the nice. Man, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, you could tell the difference. Uh, I've seen a lot of cars being wrapped. Like, as you can see, they do awesome work. They go above and beyond just to make the customer happy. Like I said, I didn't know about that. He did that for me, so Mike, I appreciate that. Him and the crew worked really hard to get this car for this deadline. They worked hard. Uh, I'd say the, the wrap came in late huh the wrap did yeah the wrap came in late it took in longer than three days more than expected so i mean that's just set them behind but they were able to knock it out uh they worked extremely hard and like i said they'll they'll do this for anybody you don't have to be a youtuber you don't have to be anything they'll do this for their customers they like to have make their customers happy and i mean you can see uh they go above and beyond to make sure that you are happy so Mike, appreciate that. Man. Sure, man. Hell yeah. Appreciate the business. We're very happy with the way it came out. And also, too, you, you pre-thought about everything, which was cool, you know. You had the taillights already blacked out. You already had, you know, the rims purchased for the wider body. You already had the black side skirts, the black headlights, which really helped out. You know, it's a good feeling when somebody has something completed like this, where there's like nothing else left. Yeah. You know, if, mm -hmm. if we were doing this for somebody else and it was an afterthought, they'd have the red headlights still. Yeah. You know, they, they, these things would be red. The side markers wouldn't be blacked out. So uh, it definitely helps when you have a vision, you relay that to us and then we're able to execute it and, uh, you know, come through and make it look really good, so. I yeah. like the, uh, 
The black on the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to do like, you know, a little bit like just not too much black. Y'all want to hit up Mike? I'm going to leave his address down in the description and y'all give him a call, leave the number and everything so y'all can get in touch with him. He is located in Hockley, Texas. Hit us up, let us know. Check us out on all our social media, which would be linked in the description below. And uh, also our YouTube if you get a chance. We're trying to grow that and you know, give more builds like this and try to build a community here in Houston. And he also has two badass cars. He has a CTS V, V3, and he has a Z06. A real one, not like mine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, definitely check him out. I couldn't be happier. So and it's ceramic coated too. Yes, it has the ceramic coated on it. That's good And what too. does that do, ceramic? So the ceramic coating is going to do a few things when it comes to a wrap. One, it's going to protect the wrap from really getting like staining. Uh, if a bird does poop on it, you have a little bit more time to get it off without it etching into the, the wrap itself. And then also, it's easier to clean. So, like, let's say you're driving and it just randomly rains on you out of nowhere because it does that here in Texas a lot. When you get to wherever you're going, it's still going to be clean. So you don't have to really go through, oh man, I got to hit up a car wash and, and this kind of stuff because the rainwater actually travels off the vehicle as you're driving or moving. It stays cleaner for longer. You don't have to wash it as many times because of that. Again, it's gonna protect the wrap with it being a gloss finish. You know, you get less swirls in it over time and it's just gonna stay looking very shiny and beautiful like this for the course of a couple of years. Especially if it's not a daily driver, so it'll last you even more than no, a couple years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take some quick shots, guys. Take some, drop some, uh, what is it called? What do they call them? B rolls? Hit it with that B roll. <laughs> <laughs> for you guys, so I hope y'all like it. I can't believe how good that car looks with that wrap. I mean, I'm I'm beyond happy. Guys, I'm so happy. Like, I've always wanted my car to look like this. Like, I always wanted to have the wide body with the ZR1 lips. Uh, spoilers and everything like I said the guys here did an awesome job I mean I'm beyond happy like it's crazy to see my car like this awesome. there you go man it's cool appreciate it man it's, it's crazy how different it looks in the oh, sun oh hell yeah and that's gonna look even different at sunset and even gas station lighting too. Oh yeah. So make yeah. sure you put some in the pictures of the gas station. That should look good, man. Man, it's crazy how how different it looks. Like I can't believe it's the same car. My wife is like, I can't like it's not, it doesn't even look like the same car anymore. So man, yeah. you guys, like I said, I can't stress it out enough. Check these guys out. They do an awesome work. Uh, you can't even tell my car's wrapped. It honestly looks like paint. So definitely check them out. Uh, I would strongly advise to do the ceramic coating. Uh, it's just going to protect your investment pretty much. Um, I, you and know, it makes the color pop a little bit too. It does make the color pop a lot. Uh, dude, I, I'm, I'm happy. I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. Good, man. Like to see my car like this. That's what it's all about. <laughs> like I said, guys, thanks, Mike. No problem, man. It's a pleasure. Yes, sir. Guys, well, we made it back home. Big shout out to Mike and all the guys. They worked extremely hard on this car. I couldn't be happier with the color. I hope you like the car. Hope you like the color. This color was one of my wife's favorite colors. She loves purple. So I kind of wanted to do something for her. The car was already red. That's my favorite color. So I wanted to do something different. Something out of my comfort zone. I couldn't be more happier with it. That I love this color. I love the black with the, with the color. Again, this color is called Passion Red Metallic. 
I hope y'all like it, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.